Today is a third day to where everything is going on. Panels, you have panels, not only panels, but you also have a lot of other things that are happening. My name is Chris and I'm with Tony Dow mm -hmm. that played on Leave It to Beaver as uh, Beaver's brother. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How are you? Uh, I'm, do I'm doing good. I'm good. doing good. good. Now, some questions I have for you. Okay. Is um, how did you uh, get the part to play as Beaver's brother? Well, it was it was odd. I just I'd done a pilot and I'd work with a producer, and they put the producer on uh, on Leave It to Beaver, and they sold the show, but they wanted to replace the Wally character and the father, so they were under the gun because they were they had their production schedule already set. So this guy says, hey, I just work with a kid, and he's kind of raw, but, you know, you might want to take a look at him. So that's how that worked out. Right. Now, um, what are one of your favorite episodes that you did with um, On Leave It to Beaver? Well, this one right here, The Lost Weekend, okay. you know, where Ward wants to take the kids back to what he did when he was a kid. And, of course, you can't go back, you know. Right. And uh, what did you end up doing after Leave It to Beaver? I mean, how busy were you after that? Well, I, you know, there is no such thing as a busy freelance actor. I mean, you know, it depends on who you are, I guess. But, but I did all the television shows of that era. You know, the Dr. Kildare 11th Hour, the Mr. Novak's, the, you know, Adam 12, Murder Shoot. You know, you could go on and on. But that's what I did for a while. And then I... Uh, we came back and did a new series called Still a Beaver, and then I started directing. So the last 17 years of my career were directing. Right, and one of the questions I do have is, what was it like working with Hugh Beaumont and Barbara? Yeah. And stuff, I mean, how fun was that? Well, they were terrific, you know. Hugh was, uh, he was very, very sturdy and, and conservative, and, and Barbara uh, was beautiful. So, you know, and we're working with them, and we're kids, so obviously we didn't hang out with them, but uh, after the show was over, Barbara and I and my wife became really close friends, and uh, I became friends with Hugh also, outside of the Beaver thing. You know. Right, and what would you say to inspiring actors that are trying to get into the business and if so forth? Well, I probably would say don't, but um, if you got it in your blood and you got to do it, you know, just get a little training, get used to community acting or school, what, you know, whatever, and then go for it, you know, because there's a tremendous number of shows that are on nowadays, so the chances of getting something are a lot better than they were, you know, 50 years ago. Right. Well, okay, though, that's all the questions I have for you. Good deal. Nice Thank talking you. with you. Thank you so much. Okay. You know, when you come to a Comic-Con, you get to go to a lot of great things. You get to see wrestlers. You get to see actors. You get to see entertainers. You get to see comedians. You get to see actresses. You get to see a lot. But you know what? What's important is that you have a great time when you come to Comic-Con. Now, when you come to Comic-Con, you get to go to take professional photos. So, taking a uh, professional photo with an actress or a celebrity is pretty awesome. And that's when you pay. You know, you could either pay at the table. That's what people don't get is that you could pay at the table or not only paying at the table but you could also pay to get a photo down like I said and it is a little bit more money but it's good it's awesome it's very very professional and stuff like that and you get to keep it you get to frame it put it on your wall you get to do whatever you want with it but when you go to somebody's table, such as, let's say, Martin Cove, or even Billy Zaka, William Zaka uh, from Cove Kai, and you pay to take a picture, it's actually um, 
you know, it depends on how much I want to charge you. It could be the 40 to 80 bucks or to have a professional photo done like I've done with Michael J. Fox before is actually a little bit. It'll cost you uh, 140 and stuff. So, you know, that's the thing to remember to when you come to Comic-Con. That is a wrap on Rhode Island Comic-Con for 2021. Maybe we'll be back again next year. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll see Rhode Island again. But I was glad to bring you some great stuff from this Comic-Con. I will see you one later, but first, please hit the subscribe button. Not only that, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. But not only that, we like this video as well. So, my name is Chris. This has been a Top Level Media, and we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.